going guys? It's Danny. We're back with a YouTube video today. We're going to be talking guys about the Candy Barbarian, guys. This is going to be like a class review type of thing. And yeah, so let's get started. So, overall, as you guys know, this class is probably one of the best classes I've ever done in my whole entire, like my, the best decision I ever made in Trove at least. Not the best decision I made in life, but this is probably the best decision game wise. So, why? Or right, let's just start off once again. So, some of you guys asked me, ask, is he worth the money? Like, I don't know, I don't know how much each of these classes are worth, but is he worth, let's say, five thousand? What are these things called? Cubits. Is he worth five thousand cubits? I would say, yeah, guys, it's it's you get what you guys pay for I mean you get a tank and a freaking berserker guy with my class setup it's it's just crazy at the the amount of damage he can do while the amount of um damage he can take in from all the other um dungeon bosses and everything like that and he's particularly my favorite because of his awesome dual wielding. That's probably the one of the things that attracted me most to the Candy Barbarian. It's because of the two weapons. Like right when I saw the um, Candy Barbarian, like right when I saw it, when I first started playing the game, I chose Neon Ninja as my first one. And like right when I saw it, I was like, damn dude, that, why didn't I choose that? So I, I did some research and Candy Barbarian fitted me the best. So, you know what? I chose him. I've been playing him for like a month now straight no stopping or I stop to change to Neon Ninja when the challenges come but that's all I do but yeah that is why I love the, or that is the review like if you have like a mentality of very aggressive or something like that you should go for this guy because this guy you can just let him take anything you want pop a potion pop a wheelie you know what I'm saying dog 420 blaze dogs but yeah, if you have that type of mentality when you're like really aggressive, like you're like, damn, dude, I'm going to go in no matter what happens. He's like, your balls deep, dude, balls to the wall. Like you don't care what you're going to do. You don't care if you're going to die or not. And I have to say, I died very little on this guy, actually, to be honest with you guys. I died very little. When I was with my Neon Ninja, I would always die after a couple of dungeons because I usually would run out of potions and I wouldn't have fast enough regen. So yeah, it's pretty sad guys. Neon Ninja is a good class, but if you're gonna go aggressive for Neon Ninja, do not if you have a mentality of um like stealthiness and really aggressive and you wanna don't care about what your champion or your character does, go for Kenny Barbarian guy, because his amount of damage on depending what you build, because there's many ways you can build Candy Barbarian. You can either go full tank like the knight. Or you can go both. You can go um, a knight and a neon ninja, which means it's pretty much like sated in um, League of Legends. You guys don't know what I mean. Don't know what that means. It's pretty much you go attack damage and tank at the same time. It's pretty much like a hybrid of both, but it does very good damage. I, I'm telling you guys, you guys better better get Candy Barbarian guy because this thing might explode in the future. Because when the new weapons come out and the new um, what are they called? The, yeah, the new weapons and the new enchantments that you can get from the pearls, or if they if they ever change the pearls, dude, I have this guy already maxed out and everything. I'll be doing another class update video very soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But hopefully this this video encourage you guys, um, like a little review, or like encourage you guys on what the Candy Barbarian has to offer and should you get it or should you not get it. I'll be doing. A video about the top five best things about the um, Candy Barbarian and the top five worst things about the Candy Barbarian. I know everything that has a good thing always has a downside to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like button and comment button down below. Hopefully this video changed some of your minds about the Candy Barbarian. Hopefully you guys would go ahead, go buy the Candy Barbarian and enjoy it because I certainly do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully this helped you guys once again and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. I guess that's not the end of his um, setup tour. He's got a basement too, like all the other corners of the party. Let's go down here. Sorry, man, I missed it. And boom, what do we have here?